Hi there, I'm going to be creating this design using freezer paper. I would recommend that you don't go so narrow like I did because it took quite a bit of time to get all the freezer paper out of these little narrow spaces. I would go a bit thicker. So what I've got here is some regular freezer paper just from the grocery store. You can buy it at any grocery or supermarket. And then I have got my square template. I'm going to do this um, uh, doing a six inch block. So we're going to draw our free motion quilting design onto our freezer paper. So I'm going to take a Sharpie or a black felt tip pen, whatever you have, and I'm going to draw this square onto the paper side of my freezer paper. You'll know what I mean because there's a waxy side and there's a paper side so i'm just going to draw my square out so this will be my square for my my piece so this will be the six inch square so i am going to draw inside of this square a free motion quilting design now before i do that i'm going to cut the freezer paper down a little bit I'm not going to cut. I'm not going to cut completely around the square though. I'm going to cut it just a little bit shorter, maybe like three inches away from the square. Now I'm going to draw something freehand. I'm not going to do anything from the computer because I want to do this from scratch with a pen. So if nobody has, if somebody doesn't have a printer, then you can easily do this at home. So generally you want to do a continuous line drawing whenever you're doing something like this. So you basically want to start here and end somewhere in the same place or start here and end over here. So what I'm going to do is do something like this. Now I'm leaving a little bit of a space in my free motion quilting because I need to come back out. Now you could easily do this free motion quilting design freehand, but I just want to show you how to do it on freezer paper. And I'm going to come back around again. And that's why I've left that gap. This is a great way of learning free motion quilting anyway. And like I said, just do whatever design you want to do and put it on the freezer paper. All the way back down. Come back out like so. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my fabric ready. So I've pressed my fabric and I'm going to place my quilt batting in between my quilt sandwich like so. I'm going to place that section over the top and then I'm going to get the freezer paper and then with the waxy bit face down, I'm going to press that on top of my fabric. So just pretend that this is going to be your six inch quilt block. Now that will semi adhere to that fabric and it shouldn't move. And take this over to the sewing machine. Now I'm not going to show you how I set up my sewing machine for free motion quilting. I have over 400 videos on my YouTube channel and I have so many on 
how to do free motion quilting. So basically, I'm going to show you how I do my free motion quilting and you can watch that. So basically, I'm just going to follow along the line here. And we're just using this as a guideline. And I didn't want mine to be straight. I kind of want it to be squiggly. And I'm just going to follow all the way around my free motion quilting design. I'm going to follow it all around on the freezer paper. Now, have you seen how easier this is when you have the guidelines for free motion quilting? It's going to take the stress right out of free motion quilting for you when you're just following the lines that you've already drawn. And like I said, you can do whatever free motion quilting design you want to do on this paper. It doesn't have to be like what I've done. Now I'm going to continue all the way around here, finishing off this free motion quilting design. And I'll let you see it once it's complete. Now this is the free motion quilting design all done and obviously you have to tear away the freezer paper once we're done. So it just depends on how much free motion quilting you did to how much of a, a little bit of a pain it's going to be to tear away. I mean it's not, it's not that time consuming. So you're just going to peel all them pieces away and this freezer paper would just come Come right out. I would recommend not going so narrow on the actual stitching because it does make it kind of difficult to pull all the paper parts out but as you can see you can get a really nice design by doing it on the freezer paper. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel. I have over 400 videos now with lots of lots of quilting and sewing tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.